The livelihoods of the people in this part of the Philippines is completely dependent upon the sea, one way or another. Danahan Bank is now one of the most degraded coral reefs in the world with some of the highest fishing pressure. The problem is that the pollution is not going to be able to get the Philippines. The environment is not going to be able to get the environment. So, the Olympian barangay is healthy. Fishers use, especially in the Philippines, use a lot of monofilament nylon nets. When discarded nets go into the marine environment and they just hang around, they can last for 600 plus years. The two most frequently used options are either to just discard them on the beach or the sea or to burn them. They live in these communities which are very impoverished in, in developing countries and they live on remote islands. They don't have anywhere to dispose of, these, of this waste or any way of recycling it. It's about lack of awareness on the potential impacts of improper disposal of nets. When these nets linger underwater, they often get marine life accidentally. And so this is what we term as ghost nets. It was called ghost fishing because no people benefit from it. It's just the, the animals die and rot there. Networks is a program that takes discarded fishing nets from impoverished communities and recycles them into carpet tile. Networks is trying to establish this chain of supply of, of discarded nets that could be recycled. This is a really high performance engineering plastic. You know, Nylon 6 is in our carpet. It's also in lots of other products that people will use every day. So we want to make sure that material can be used again. The idea is to collect discarded fishing nets off the beaches or get them from um, fishers as soon as they have finished using them so that they don't throw them into the sea or just discard them on the beaches and do it in such a way that the local communities benefit as much as possible. What's really important about this program is that it's not a one-shot beach cleanup for some nice pictures. It's actually about how do you institutionalise nets and ultimately other material recycling in communities in a way that benefits them in the long term. So, nakatabang ginisag na ko ang network regarding sa problema sa kuandere, sa WIS. Kaya karoon dilit naman nila ilabay sa baybay yun. Dila namang ipuson, ibaligya. Like, taking care of the environment at the same time, there is this additional income. Fish catches are actually declining, and therefore their income has been declining. Because of high density in terms of population, declining fisheries, uh, lack of alternatives. So it's the cycle. Through networks, people receive money for the nets, and then they are able to save that money within the community banks, which they can incrementally build some savings over time. For example, to invest in seaweed farming, or to invest in education for their children nga makahatag og mayong kaugmaon sa moang pagpuyo o sa pod paghatag og improvement nga makatabang sa namo bisan tud kami pobre sa among kakabos na gyud mi makuha nga may pinansal para sa among ginagmay ang panghabuyan o sa salamat ko sa kang nga abot diri sa among lugar when people are buying a, a carpet from us, they're not only helping to improving the marine environment or creating alternative incomes for families, but they're also helping to support these community banks that will be an important part of village life in the future and enable people to take loans and have a higher level of security around their finances. Networks has been very, very different because it has really involved a productive partnership where all members have a really important role to play. It's not something that can be done by one entity alone. ZSL is a conservation and education charity who conducts conservation programs in 50 countries worldwide. Project Series Foundation is a local land government organization. We do marine conservation. Most of our work deal with the communities, helping them to establish and manage protected areas. So Aquafil are one of Interface's biggest suppliers of yarn and they have really pioneered the recycling technology that allows 
100% recycled nylon six. And that takes nylon six from lots of different sources. So carpet fluff is part of that, industrial waste, fishing nets, mainly from commercial and industrial fisheries. We're able to turn that with aquafil into yarn that ends up in our product. Seeing our nets from the Philippines come in and join this huge warehouse of other fishing nets, other recycled nylon, and that that social stream is now part of their 100% recycled product. And hopefully over time we can grow that social component part. Right now it's only small, but this is just the beginning. Someday, mo abot ra gidang panon nga mahurot ang tanang pukot diri sa wala yon ay kay naman nga musundog na mo so dako gyud siya gikatabang kung limpyo ang kuan so layo ta sa mga sakit so mo ni pila kay number 1 di ba nga kuan mga sample nga gihatag nga gipatan aw na mo diri ako nakita nga dako dai kay mahimo ang maong pukot how we know our networks is success because there's no more nets left in the sea. No more on the beaches and we've got nice, clean, beautiful beaches. We hope to keep and sustain our networks in the sites and the possibility of replicating networks in other sites, which have essentially the same issues. Having carpets made out of nets, it brings about the, the connection of the people, the environment, as well as the concern of these big companies. Being here and seeing the power of what the partners are doing on the ground. This, this to me is the start of us being a restorative enterprise. So we're giving back and giving opportunities that are way beyond what maybe people would think a carpet tile company could do. And this is only the beginning.